Hello and welcome to Life Work with Maya. This is the fifth and final episode from the August Reset series. And before we get into the episode, I would love to ask you if you're on Spotify, you can use the question answer function or hit Maya up on Instagram. If you have any thoughts or questions, they're all anonymized for Maya that you would love to see answered or spoken about in the episodes to come. This is Life Work with Maya, where we talk about success on your terms and tune in to work and lives that feel spacious, abundant, and aligned with who we truly are. Hello, and welcome to the final part of the Summer Reset. So as a quick recap, we have thought about some summer projects. You may be able to already now look back on those and feel pleased that you've managed to watch a certain genre of film or that you added some additional aspects to your sports consumption. And we then talked about switching on and switching off. We talked about your metaphors. We talked about designing your work schedule um, and It wouldn't be the golden hour if I didn't bring in now some final goal setting for the next quarter ahead. I'm conscious that it's not really a quarter because it's September, October, November, December, but whether you want to think of that as a term in sort of school terms, I still think there's a quite a clean new start for these final four months, which is a bit more than a quarter. And so This episode, I guess, is about bringing together the previous episodes and the work that you have perhaps uh, engaged in and taking some of that summer with us into the next month, thinking about what we really valued from that month, but then also just setting out some goals for our final few months of the year. So the first part is, you know, we hopefully engaged a bit more intentionally with various practices this month, whether it was a project that has set us up nicely. For example, I had one client saying that they were a member of a gym, but they were never booking any classes. And what they did over this month was they actually got themselves into a bit more of a schedule with that. I thought it was quite nice because that can be carried on into the next uh, months. And there may be other things as well that you have enjoyed. And so what are those? What things have you enjoyed about yourself and perhaps connecting with others this month? This is an opportunity to just take stock of that. And I always advocate the Tada list for this, you know, just taking out a page of your planner because you do have a planner, don't you? And just jotting down some of the nice things that you've done in August, and they may be uh, related to this series. You may have come up with some metaphors. You might come up with some designs. You may have ticked off a few projects. You may have connected with some people that you were otherwise not getting enough time with. What are those things? And let's capture those and let's enjoy the fact that we had hopefully a great August. And I always think part of the joy of doing a Tada list is we've always done more than we think or that our brains can really remember. And it's nice to see all of that laid out. And once we've done that, we can maybe highlight a few things that we think are things that we can take into the next few months of the year. And then, you know, with that metaphor for change, with hopefully some design about your work schedule, what are some key goals in the work self and relationships domain that are really important to you now uh, in the final few months of the year? What's going to make it a really good few months so that you can get to the end of December um, feeling like you have really accomplish the things that were important to you and maybe it is a quarter because I see September October November is a really concentrated period of time where often people are working really hard it's their busy months and then there's again a little bit of a slowdown in December so maybe you can start to gear yourself up for those three months ahead are there any practices that you engaged in during this month that you want to carry on in my case the meditation practices and also some of the 
nutritional things that I was doing in the summer I would like to take forward with me. I was enjoying my bulletproof coffees again, which just require that little bit more effort than walking into Costa but I want to carry those on. I also really enjoyed my smoothies. And I think September is quite a fun month uh, to continue some of these habits can often be, you know, weather wise, quite pleasant as well. So have a think about those and jot them down. Don't forget to jot them down, even if it's just one goal in each domain, a work domain, self and um, relationships. Don't worry, we will be checking in again in future months. So don't feel you have to meticulously capture all possible goals and to do's. It's more about with the break, with the rejuvenation, you know, with the reset What is it that it has inspired you to focus on in the month ahead? So this is a short episode. I do really encourage you to jot it down, share it with your partner, share it with a friend. It's all about not having it just rattling around inside your head. There is something really powerful about capturing our goals. This is not the first time I have talked about this, but and it won't be the last. I think we do need seasonal reminders to do this. And then the final thing that I think is about being quite proactive um, as we approach the end of this month is just, you know, what, what does what does autumn need? What are the things that can set us up for a great autumn? as it gets cooler? Do we need different clothes? What are the routines as it gets darker? Will we want to bring in? Um, And if there's anything around that, I always think that um, autumn is full of festivals and they just keep coming and coming at you and I'm never very prepared for them. So I actually want to be a little bit better prepared for those so that I can enjoy them, any things that I need to do in advance. And so that will be part of my goal setting for the months ahead. And I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was a good August reset for you. Let me know how it was. Let me know what worked. Let me know what didn't work because this is something I'm really comfortable with in the coaching process is that we talk about what worked and what didn't work because not everything is going to be right for you. And we actually learn from what doesn't work for us as well. And there might be a slightly different way that you may have had to approach things or that would have worked for you. And I'm always really happy to discuss those as well. So do reach out as always. And otherwise, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn And I look forward to bringing to you some new episodes very soon. Look forward to connecting with you then. Take care. Thank you for listening to Life Work with Maya. If you've got to this point, I'm guessing you found it valuable. So do share the link with somebody else who can benefit. In an age of materialism and us trying to stay on top of clutter, what could be nicer than to send a non-clutter digital link to somebody and say, I listened to this and I thought you might love it. What a great way to show your care and consideration for them. If you haven't left a review, now is the time and make sure that you are subscribed on Spotify or you're following along on Apple Podcasts. And if you really want to help the show grow then do share the link on ig stories instagram stories or reshare or discuss your thoughts with my linkedin posts you can find me on linkedin and instagram do you feel free to send me messages there i love having dialogue with my listeners um, and the links to those handles are in the show notes thanks for listening and i look forward to connecting with you next time bye-bye